Okay, we have another one where we want to express as a single algorithm, and we have five different terms here, and the best way to do this would be to actually group together the ones with plus signs and the one with minus signs. It'll make things easier when we use our log rules to have all of them with the correct sign all together. So it doesn't matter the order in which you write these. I'll first start with log 3, 8, and then I'll do this one, 3, log 3, x, and then I have this other one over here, log 3, x squared plus 2. So I have, I have those. Okay, then next, I want to put the, the ones with the negative sign in front. So again, the order doesn't matter. I'll start with this one, minus log 3, 4. I'll do that one, 2, minus 2, log 3, x. So now I have them all uh, grouped together. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to move these powers up. So the 3 I'm going to move up here, and the 2 I'll move up here. Again, I'm not going to move the negative sign up with it because I want to write it with positive exponents. Uh, so first I'll do log 3, 8 plus log 3x cubed. Log, this one's going to be the same, didn't change anything with this one. This one I can't do anything with, log 3, 4. And then this one I'm going to move the 2 up there and make it square, so I have log base 3 of x squared. So now I have it uh, written out, all the plus signs, all the minus signs, the powers. And so now I'm ready to start putting these logs together as a single logarithm. So with this, I have 3 of these logs, and I want to combine those together. Now the log rules that I gave in the notes, they only show two terms. We know that if you have two terms that are being added together, two logs, we can combine that together, single log with multiplication. Now because we have three of these, that just means that we're going to multiply all three together. You don't have to have just two. You can actually put all three of those things together by using the same rule. So that's going to turn into log base 3, and I'm just going to multiply 8 times x cubed times x squared plus 2. So that's going to take care of the first group. That one right there uh, combines all three logs together into a single one. Now for this one, what I'd like to do is I, I want to um, bring out the negative sign and factor out the negative on that. And the reason why is because it's going to make it easier to use our log rules because now we got a minus sign out front here these two things will turn into a multiplication and then I'll finally have one more subtraction to turn it all into a fraction later. If I were to try to do these separately, I would have uh, a fraction with this one and then that one with another minus sign with a fraction. It's going to be easier just to factor out the negative and that way I can have a, a multiplication here, a multiplication there, and then I'll put all of it together with a fraction because of the minus sign in front there. So this part's done already and so I have log 3 8x cubed, x squared plus 2, and then I have a minus sign. Now these two here, I'm going to write that as a product as well. This would be 4x squared. The plus sign again would turn into uh, multiplication. Almost done. I have these two separate logs. I'm turning it into a single one. I got a minus sign in between, so I'm going to do log 3, 8x cubed, x squared plus 2, and on the bottom I have 4x squared. So it's done. It's a single logarithm. We have positive exponents. However, again, if there's a way that you can reduce it, you do want to go ahead and do that. So you want to always look for, is there a way that we can simplify our answer further? And the answer here would be yes. So if you take 8 divided by 4, that's 2. And then square, and there's 3 of them on top, that means there'll be 1x left over when you take that out. And then we have x squared plus 2. And so this would be, as far as you can go with your answer, that would be the most simplified because we took care of that. And there's no more fraction anymore because 8 over 4 was just 2 only. All the x squareds went into that one, 1x one left over, and then we have x squared plus 2. So this here right here would be your final, most reduced answer.